In this tutorial, we are going to look at removing access levels from a card. A cardholder's access can be removed in a variety of manners, including removing all access information. We will need to have a personnel browser open for this task. The personnel browser is an explorer window that consists of all the cardholder's names and card numbers. The personnel browser can be open from the standard toolbar. To view the card's assigned access levels, we will hover the mouse over a card. Not only do we see the access levels, but we can also view the card's status as well as the card's stop and start dates. We will double click on the card to open the cardholder record. Once the record is open, we will select the card tab. From the card tab, we can see that the card has been deactivated but still has access levels associated with it. Let's start by removing the admin access level from the card. From here, we will right click in the access level section of the card tab and select the add, remove, modify item from the resulting menu. A green check in the assign field indicates that the access level is already assigned to the card holder. To remove the access level, we will check the plus sign in the assigned column next to the admin access level group. The green check will change to a red minus, which indicates the access level has been marked for removal from the card. To save the changes, we will click the OK button. We can see the admin access level group has been removed from the card's access levels. All the card's access levels may be removed by simply right clicking in the access level section and selecting the remove all access option. When the remove all access dialog opens, click the yes button to confirm the removal. All the remaining access levels have now been removed from the card. In order to save the record, we will right click in the record and select the update option. I'll go ahead and close the cardholder's record. Access levels can also be removed from a card without having to open the cardholder's record. Let's remove the local vendor access level from Fred Ford's card. We will start by right clicking on the card and selecting the modify access option from the context menu. The Assign Access Levels window appears, with the Assigned Access Levels indicated with a green check mark. We will select the check mark next to the Local Vendor Access Level, which changes it to a red minus sign, and click the OK button to save the change. Hovering over the card again reveals that the Local Vendor Access Level has been removed from the card. Just like we did with the card open, we can remove all of the card's access with a couple of selections. We can do this by right clicking on the card and selecting the Remove All Access from Card option. Click the Yes button when the Remove All Access dialog appears. Once again, hovering over the card shows that all the access levels have been removed from the card. Let's go ahead and double click on the card to open the cardholder record. Once the record opens, we'll select the Card tab to confirm that the card has no assigned access levels. DNA offers many features to help you manage your cards. One of these features is the ability to have the application automatically deactivate a card and remove the assigned access levels when a new card is added. See page 721 in the user manual for more information on removing access levels. As you can see, there are a couple of different ways to remove access levels from a cardholder's card, including right-clicking on the card without the need to open the cardholder's record. I encourage you to find the manner that works best for you. Thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing you again.